Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nichols Nook. If you're new, my name is Jess, and in today's video, I will be doing a bedroom refresh and clean with me for the new year. As you guys know, we only have about eight to nine weeks until our baby girl is due to arrive, and so I am in full on nesting mode. So up to this point, I have been focusing on other areas of the house, and I've really been neglecting our bedroom. However, this is where she will be sleeping for the first five to six months of her life, so I figured I should go ahead and do a deep clean and refresh of our bedding, just to get everything nice and ready for her. And it will also be a nice way just to start our new year off on the right foot. So I'm just starting by stripping our bedding. I'm gonna throw our sheets in the wash, and I want to say thank you to Bedscape for sponsoring this video. They provided us with a brand new, really soft duvet cover that I'll talk about in just a little bit. But while those sheets are washing, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the rest of the bedroom so that by the time those are washed and dried, they will be ready to put back on the bed. So even though baby girl won't be crawling or walking for quite some time, I figured I may as well go ahead and start baby proofing now just a little bit since I'm working in the bedroom anyway. As you guys can see, there is an outlet on the wall and that is where my phone charger and this lamp are usually plugged in, but I decided to move those cords behind our bed so that those are out of reach of baby girl. Now I'm just taking all of these items out of this nightstand that's next to my bed. So when baby girl is sleeping in our room, she will be sleeping in a bassinet that is pushed right up on the side of the bed. And so I plan on using this nightstand for any extra supplies for nighttime nursing or diaper changes or things of that nature. And I want everything to be easily accessible. So now that this nightstand is clean, I can go ahead and start organizing those supplies into the nightstand. So as I mentioned before, I am washing and drying our sheets before they go back on our bed, but I wanted to share a little bit about this new brand called Bedscape that sent us a brand new, beautiful sateen white duvet cover for our bed. Now, Bedscape is an American brand that has just launched. All of their products are designed in New York and are produced in one of the oldest Israeli textile factories. And one of the biggest things that stuck out to me about this company is that all of their products are Ecotex Standard 100 certified, which means that no harmful chemicals are used in the production process. And as a new mommy-to-be, I just have to say that this makes me feel so good about having our sweet baby girl lay or snuggle with us on our bed because I know she won't be exposed to harsh or harmful chemicals and that just makes me feel so good as a mom. Bedscape offers their bedding in two different types of fabrics. The first is percale, which is 300 thread count, and then the next is sateen, which is what we went with, and that is 350 thread count. So all of their fabric is very high quality and very, very soft. You can see that the duvet cover comes with these buttons so that your duvet does not slide out. And then of course it does have the ties for the corners of your duvet on the inside as well so that the duvet doesn't slip around on on the inside. Something else that I love about this company is that all of the bedding is machine washable, which as you guys know, we have a big dog, so this was very important to us, especially because this duvet cover is white. All of the care instructions are included with your bedding, and as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this before I put it on our bed for the very first time. 
So if you are in need of some new bedding, I will have Bedscape's website linked in the description box below, as well as a 30% off coupon code for you guys. And whether you're a new customer or you have purchased from Bedscape before, the coupon code will still work. So be sure to check the description box again if you are interested. We're gonna go ahead and continue on with the cleaning of our bedroom. Now, we don't have an office in this house, so all of my YouTube or my studio stuff is here in our bedroom. As you can see, I had a lot of dusting and wiping down that I needed to do. And I'm hoping in our next house we have an extra bedroom so that I can have an office slash studio. But as for now, this is what we have to work with and it works out just fine. So Chief was so content just laying outside this day. I could see him through the window while I was cleaning and it was just the cutest thing ever. But it was such a gorgeous day outside so he just wanted to stay out there pretty much all day. He just laid there. Normally he wants to throw the ball over and over and over but he was very content this day. So here is the really embarrassing part of our bedroom. We have all kinds of things just thrown on our dresser that I still have not cleaned up from the holidays. Everything from trash to tissue paper, we have Christmas gifts, we have our ring doorbell that we still have not yet installed. All kinds of things have just accumulated on top of our dresser and I've just been so tired that I really haven't wanted to touch a single item on this dresser. Honestly, my favorite part about doing clean with me or refresh videos is that it forces me to actually clean and put things away. So right now I'm going through and putting away all of these loose items that I haven't touched since Christmas and then I'm finally gonna feel just a huge sense of relief after this room is completely done and I can focus on other areas of the house. Something else that Chaz and I plan on doing before baby girl gets here is a closet and dresser clean and declutter. So I don't know about you guys, but I have been watching Marie Kondo's KonMari decluttering and tidying up method on Netflix quite a bit recently. And I've known about her method for quite some time just because there are so many YouTube videos out there on it. And it's something that I've been wanting to try. But since I've been watching it on Netflix, it's something that I really want to try before our baby girl gets here just because we have so many clothes that we never wear anymore. And we have a lot of decluttering to do as it is. So definitely keep your eyes open for that video because we will be filming that hopefully in the next week or two. Thank you. 
So now that all of the bedding is clean, I'm gonna start by putting our sheets back on the bed. This dark gray set is just from Walmart, but since Bedscape has sheets as well, I would love to try out one of their sheet sets at some point. Just because the duvet cover is so soft, I think the sheets would be really, really soft and comfortable as well. So that definitely is something that I will be looking into in the future. Now bear with me, I am 31 weeks pregnant, so I didn't realize when I was putting this sheet on that it is actually upside down. So if you notice that, I apologize, but pregnancy brain is getting the best of me. So we have actually never owned a duvet or duvet cover. We have always had comforters. And now that we have a king size bed, having a king size comforter that we have to wash frequently can sometimes be a hassle. So I wanted to try out a duvet cover because I felt like it would be a lot easier to keep clean, especially when Chief gets on the bed. He is very good about sleeping in his dog bed at night, but if I'm working on the computer or editing a YouTube video during the day, he likes to lay on the bed so that he is in the same room with me and he feels like he's close to me. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the duvet inside the duvet cover. I found this method on YouTube. It is just the burrito method where you roll up the duvet inside the duvet cover. And I was a little nervous about trying this because number one, this is my first time ever putting a duvet inside of a duvet cover and we have a king size bed. So I wasn't sure how it was gonna work out, but I was really proud of myself because I actually was able to get it done the first time. It was so easy and I was so excited that I actually was able to do it without Chaz's help. So hooray! And by the way, how comfy does this look, you guys? This looks like we're gonna be sleeping on a cloud. Ah, it's so soft too, and I love the fact that it didn't really wrinkle. It just looked so soft and comfortable, and it just made me wanna climb into bed right away. So I'm just doing the buttons on the ends, and then I also did the corner ties for the duvet as well, so that it won't slip around on the inside. Now I'm just putting the rest of the pillows on the bed as well as this large throw blanket. I always love to have a throw blanket on the bed anyway, but I loved the fact that this one was big and it could just break up the white just a little bit. I also love having a blanket down at the foot of the bed because when Chief does lay on the bed, that's usually where he tends to lay. So that will just help to prevent him from laying on the white duvet cover. I can't even tell you guys how big of a difference this has made to our bedroom. It feels so bright and refreshing and clean, and this is exactly the look that I was going for in our bedroom. It still feels cozy and homey, but it has such a refreshing, clean look to it as well. Again, if you're looking for a quick way to give your bedroom a refresh for the new year with some new bedding, definitely check out our link in the description box below and don't forget to use our 30% off coupon code so that you will get 30% off of your purchase. The styles and colors that they have that you can choose from are very classic and timeless and anytime that you use any of the links in our description box, it helps to support our channel. So we thank you guys so very much for using our links and we truly appreciate all of your love and support. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's clean with me and bedroom refresh. I hope it gave you some cleaning motivation and inspiration to tackle some projects that you have in your home during 2019. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite part of this clean with me was and what you would like to see in our next cleaning video. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.